Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. Uh, we looked at um, so far the the Dor um, Dorma, the Carba. Now we're going to look at the Lockwood. Now this is the older Lockwood 3582, and we're going to basically pull it apart and find out why it's failed. Straight away, I can see that the ooh, latch doesn't feel very good, and it's popping out on a slight bit of an angle. So that's a little bit of an indication. Um, Everything else seems alright. A lot of the time I like to look for a crack at the back if it's been forced. But uh, okay, so let's see what the mystery holds on this one. All of these going straight in the bin afterwards. There's nothing really salvageable on it. They've been replaced and um, yeah, better than putting metal in the bin, you send it to your local scrapyard, they'll send it away and not, not put it into landfill because things like this is not really good for landfill. It's good to recycle it. Why is that not popping up? Can't tell me that's just the sticker. Okay, it's open. So there we have our lock there. Okay, um, I might look at it this way, it's easier for me. So the actual uh, latch itself, that moves okay. It did seem to be popping out just a little bit more than it should. Our hub here, that seems to be working. There's no damage down the back here. And it also would have this slide on this part here and it also would have a runner here. So, let's simulate it and see what happens. So it's just kinking. Okay, so even now I can see this whole carriage section is kind of kinking, I don't know why it's kinked. It definitely doesn't want to slide properly. Okay, assuming that this part here would be holding this straight, it should be sliding a little bit better than that. It does work, very crusty but not very well. This is your secondary when this one's pushed in, this one becomes solid. Okay, that's pushed in and we're not getting any action there either. So normally this one's pushed in, this one you can't push in, but we can. So our secondary is not working. So that's obviously not um, not very good because if your secondary is pushed in and you can still pull the latch back, you can get a screwdriver or a key card and basically shim the lock open. So I want to see if the same thing has happened as before where this has jumped its position because there is a spot at the front here Okay, so that's, uh, okay, so if that goes back, so we have this slide down the back, which is most likely lock and unlock. Sorry, this is your lock and unlock function. This would be for your secondary. So I wonder if it's skipped, skipped a position. Has it skipped? No but that should be preventing it from coming back. So, is there any way that this should be behind it like the other lock we looked at? No, it doesn't look like it should be. Okay, so handing of this lock here, if you want one side to be locked or one side not to be locked, um, because it is for a commercial, it's on the back here. Comes with a little Allen key as well. So, uh, right hand lockable, left side lockable, You lip, you put your allen key in, undo it, move it up, tighten it back up and that's how you make one side lockable. You can do both lockable or left or right lockable, it's completely up to you. Um, normally when you push in the secondary, um, yeah this, this bolt here doesn't move like, it, like that, shouldn't be doing that. This part here as well should be operating some sort of mechanism in here, so when I push this in it really should be moving something. Um, which is most likely underneath. Let's see if we can have a bit of a, a deeper look. Okay, I can't get that out there. I'm actually going to dismantle the spindle to take the latch out and see if uh, we can work out what's what's going on here. Okay, we have our latch out. So this part here should should be moving something to lock this one. And to be honest with you, it doesn't really want to do that at all. Out it comes. So a pin is driving this backwards forwards. Yes, that's backwards forwards. It's 
slides in both directions. Nothing really seems broken there. So it's a bit of a mystery on why this one is uh, failing as well. All locks do fail eventually. I mean, it um, could be the smallest of things. But they do fail eventually, so having a look, trying to work out why, um, sometimes is a bit of an idea. Help you next time, sort of thing. So these are our two slides. They move this part, which slides backwards and forwards. So what moves what moves this part? Yes, quite a tricky one here. Unless that's meant to be underneath. No, nope, it's definitely not meant to be underneath. Okay, so that is well that would definitely stop that from going there. Anyway, that is the mystery. Something to do with the secondary that's uh, played up. To be quite honest with you, I, I don't know. I don't know. When we change these little Allen keys on this side here, you can see what they are. They're just basically little triangles. They slide behind um, this mechanism here, preventing it from turning. As you can see there, that mechanism, uh, this round part here, this one here. So when this is down, it will actually block that so it can't turn and then when it's lifted out of the way it allows it to rotate as you see they're offset so one side's, one side's good one side's not going to be allowed to work uh, as, other than that it takes a normal 570 cylinder it is a pretty good lock I mean I don't get too many troubles with these type of locks uh, every now and again you do uh, this one here as far as why the secondary doesn't work um, yeah I would like to have been able to solve the mystery but um, I can't Maybe it might have something to do with a bit of movement in there. I'm noticing the bolt's very crusty to be sl slid backwards and forwards, so obviously something's bent. Um, how it's happened, I don't know, but there we have it there. Lockwood 3582 gutted, and the mystery continues. Okay, thanks for watching.